I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Aphrodite? Yes. Aphrodite win. What does Stefan? Tenement or leather? Yeah. Leather. What the fuck? But maybe Aphrodite has like a different type of leather. Like a leather that has like a more like rainbow color. Like a leather that has like a more like rainbow color. Like a leather that has like a more like rainbow color. So girlfriend, maybe, maybe I go stop there. I think. What? I think only stop there after the third. Hold on. Use the third. Come. Three masters. That's like good on here. That means like top you have on it at any rate. Or like yeah, someone ready to end it. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, this is like depressing with Moro and Desgar sleeping early. Why? It's good. It's good. You like it? Fuck you. Anti-social, man. Why do you hate us? Carter's too good for us, apparently. No, not you. Why do you hate us? Even right now? Oh, I don't hate you. Oh. I just it's like lonely. <sighs> oh fuck! Where's Desro? God damn it! I don't know, MSNBC has a picture saying that Fearless Felix is the first person to travel faster than the speed of light. Uh, I'm sure you could talk about that. I need, I need does, bro.
fuck? I can't use the daycare man in this game. Why are you gonna hate so much, Kyle? You always hate. Apparently, I've played Death Row. And Diamond. Who is Death Row? Why does that name sound familiar? What Death Row Diamond League? Apparently, I played Death Row and Diamond League on January 1st of 2011. Did you win? I don't know, I'm watching. No, yeah, it's like somebody posted a YouTube video. Was it this row? Wait. <laughs> no. Alright, they posted a video to my channel. Sorry. Because the game was supposed to be a long time ago. Skip to the NCP1. If not, never talk about it again. What map is this? This is Jungle Basin. Oh, shit. Right. The first game. All of the early maps were hideous to be Well, he started off complimenting me, so of course, you know. This Oh, He's these... going to forgate you? How do you know? These old PVZ openings, man. Too funny. He made a forge, and it looks like he's expanding. I don't even remember. What, what did you do? I don't even know, man. It was like Nexus, Gateway, Forge. Like, it's just weird. Like, everything is just kind of weird. No, I mean, what did you Fuck. do against him? Like, I don't know. Speedbang expand, or what? I did, like, 13 pool. Now mining one gas. But I've got, like, an expansion. It's kind of like what you do now. <laughs> sure. I, I, my play was really sloppy, and I noticed that the- I don't care. Wow, look at this guy <clears throat> commentating like anybody gives a fuck. Oh fuck, I'm going mutilus. Oh shit, mutiling. Of mic ring, I wasn't uh, going back to my main to like- <laughs> Hold on, stop lagging. Can't send me winning this game. Pretty funny. Uh, nope. That's always good. Doesn't get too long. Oh, he's not even pay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's got more lanes. Well, he's got a lot of zealots. Hold on. Make some roaches. Yeah, I'm sniping <coughs> Nexus. This was the metagame in 2011, son. I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, what happened? Oh, fuck, he might just lose. Oh! He lost his Colossus. Yeah, but he's got Colossus. Why is the audio out of sync? Oh, he's not even pay- He lost it to Lings. Why is the audio out of sync? You're too annoying to play against to say GG. Too annoying? He was the one who rushed! <laughs> oh shit. Hey, Mikko. No, I think I'll do it. 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 I'll do it's very, very trashy. Cambridge. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say show for McDonald's. Okay guys, I need help. 
Hey, do you know the address of where we live? No, I don't know. Eight hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. Are you sure it's not three? Two. One hundred percent. This, right? What's the question? That's uh, Looks right. Enough. But it's with O W at the end. A W at the end. <laughs> o W instead That's of A. Ah, sick. Okay. okay, how do I find our postal code? Do you have any idea? No idea. What the fuck, man? No. <coughs> Ow. Why do you need the postal code? I have people mail stuff to me. I can read your postal code. I only accept cash donations now. Really? Yeah. What? Give me help. I have it. Oh, well, tell me. Jo, men varför det beror... Är det det som kunde få bedrift då? Eller vad är det då? Nej, okej. Du har en hel adress? Det är ju inte på sig då, eller? Hell yeah! What's your name? Steven... Barkas. Eh... Kan du ju vinna och rätta om din mellan två games? Jo, men jag tror att det är väldigt ganska dåligt att stå. Jo, men det är bättre i morgon, Rick. Rick har sett på det. Rick har sett på det. Jag spelar lite då. Rick, Rick. Eller Rick har sett på det. Nei, men jeg feiler jo som faen i helga, men jeg er jo nede en del penger nå, på grunn av meg. Altså... Er det usikker? Oh, man. Did you ever read the Harry Potter books, Jeremy? Religiously. Really? Yeah. Oh, sick. Why? I like I hated them. It's kind of a little bit. You hated them? Yeah, but I did. I did it really. You like you did like you go to the opening night and you read it in like six hours, like that kind of shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I started that on the fourth book. I thought that um, <laughs> I hated that. I hated that like it seemed like Harry, Ron, and Hermione grew in every yeah, book, yeah, but at the beginning of the next book they like reset, you know. Like back to their original like immature selves, like that happened like every single time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I got really annoyed in the last book when they like literally, like literally, they're in a, on a quest to save the world, and Ron and Hermione are like, we're really bored, like literally. Yeah, no, that's silly. That's but I don't know. I mean, if you think too much about it, it's really bad. Maybe. Yeah. Because there's a lot of problems in the story, like there being an unblockable spell that kills anyone in one hit, and a wizard who's more powerful than anyone else. Yeah, that was an- that oh, fuck! Work. Oh, I, ha I wondered that, that the other work. day. What does it mean to be a powerful wizard in the Harry Potter world? Like, do spells- yes. if there's a spell that can't be blocked- In case you don't want to hit- you. Like, how- who's the more powerful- like, As what long makes as you, you can cast that spell, yeah. you are the most powerful. Well, but for, like, any spell, like, if you say the word and cast it, like, what's the difference? Like, who is- Well, more? there's- the, if you have more magical power, the spell has, like, <coughs> greater- greater power, and there's also, like, shield spells, like, Protego or whatever. Where like you can block. That, that's like the only one. Like there's the the one where you summon the ch the fuck the thing to scare away the specter guys. Um, specter patron. <laughs> yeah, that one. The patrol. The patronium. Yeah. So though that mean? gets like stronger. Right. But then like I don't know. Yeah. Like yeah. The whole the presence of that one hit spell always seemed. <coughs> yeah. Uh, making that a block to, of lightning uh, was a pretty bad. You have to have the intent to kill because Harry Potter used it once. But it, it didn't work because he didn't have the... Because he had no balls. Yeah. Yeah, but even so, like, even a weak wizard could have an intention to kill, right? Yeah. Well, you have to have a power... Like, when Moody introduces it, he says, um, um, you have to have a powerful bit of magic behind it, so it implies that you have to be, like, powerful <laughs> yourself, or whatever. They should have, like, power... Oh, they should have fucking power levels. God, it would have been so sick. That would have been the Baltimore sickest Baltimore shit in the, the world. Holy oh, shit! Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. and yeah, then Harry Potter's power level goes up so much at like yeah, the end, and then he like kills him. So, well, oh my well, god! Well, Somebody well, should redo the Harry well, Potter well, books well, with like scouters and shit. That would be so sick. Oh, uh, uh, 
No, 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 no that, that's roll every function shift. Also, did anyone ever try just like this? I'm shooting it. Hope it's over there at the tail. With a gun? Yeah. Oh, but like, like if the uh, like if the world's mixed, I don't know, man. Well, I mean, like, uh, the Horcrux has prevented him from like dying, right? Uh, no. But like, if you cause him so much bodily injury that he's just like laying there nearly dead, and then leave him there, it seems good. I don't know, man. Um. <coughs> he should have made like a million Horcruxes. Yeah, really. He should have made a Horcrux and then put it on like the International Space Station. How sick would that have been? Do you know how, like, how would Harry get up into space? That could be like book eight. Like Harry Potter X, you know, like Jason X. <laughs> that would be like the sickest movie ever. Um, yeah, you could have done a lot more intelligent things with the Horcruxes. The bottom of the ocean came to mind. Well, but that, <coughs> you could like shoot spells into the ocean all day until you hit it. <laughs> you could do that, but uh... Or no, you had to like kill him with a special thing, didn't you? Like the sword of Gryffindor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> you believe seven to be the most powerful number? Then why not seventy-seven? Or seven hundred and seventy-seven. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Plus, he didn't have seven Horcruxes. He had eight, so it's kind of like a problem anyway, because Harry was an unintended Horcrux. <coughs> yeah, Harry was the seventh. Did they uh, kill seven and then? The body was the eighth. So that's no, I thought eight. Harry was the seventh. Like, they eliminated six and then they, the last one was Harry. Well, that would mean eight total, because, right, Voldemort counts as one? Yes? And, uh, I don't think, it, I don't if, think it counts as one. one fills, like, if you make but, one Horcrux, you have one Horcrux now. Right, but you, 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 he wanted to split his soul into seven. That was the goal. Split it so into seven? seven? If he splits it in six times, there's seven. Oh, so they, oh I thought he just made seven Horcruxes. No, no, no. The idea is you split your soul. And then you want seven parts of his soul. Uh, the reason I brought it up is because I thought the Snape character was really cool. Snape was the only well-made character in the book. Yeah, but like super well-made. But unfortunately, because he was well-made, he was blindly predictable. A, a, li a little bit. I called right at the end of the book where he killed Dumbledore he was a good guy. Well, yeah, no, no, I mean, like, that's predictable, but the motivation I thought was really good. The, the idea that he was in love with Lily, and then that is, like, a lot, and then it shows, like, there was a lot of real spite for him, for Harry, because Harry acted a lot like James, and James kind of bullied him, you know, in school and shit, and he really loved yeah. Lily. I thought that was really cool. Like, that whole motivating storyline seemed like it was, like, so much more developed than everything else in the story. I could agree with that. If, you, if spoiler alert, guy, seriously, come on. It's like what? out on DVD. Like, Dumbledore was gay. Spoiler alert. I can't. Why did she? What a dumb fucking idiot. Why, why? did she do that? Why mention that? <laughs> it, like, it didn't matter. It was implied, but it didn't matter. It had nothing to do with any part of the book ever. Like it would be like saying when Dumbledore was fourteen, he banged like thirty chicks one night. Like, wh like what does that have? Why? What does that have to do with anything? Okay. Well, I guess got both Luxon. Mm, people lost sleep over it too. I was like, what? Now it makes me wonder if, like, Dumbledore was like a secret pedophile too. You know, that's why he spent so much time with Harry, watching him grow up. Wasn't that implied too? No. What the fuck? You fucked up, man. What was the curse that lets you like control people? What if he did that to kids? Imperious. Yeah, Imperious. they like didn't even know, and he was like forced. You know, that'd be fucked up. Seems logical. And then he could use that go back in time necklace and like wouldn't even know. That's still also seen the balance. Yeah, that was Light. pretty dumb. <laughs> <coughs> this doesn't seem fair. He has like unlimited Pokemon. I go. So I wouldn't have. Oh, for Christ's sake. Sunstruck death. That's it. How are you, my people? Guys, today we're winning the fucking games, man. Oh, you know, guys. Look at that shit. Stuff. Monday mail. I already did Monday mail. It was hot. Oh, he hasn't posted the link yet. Do more Monday mail? Shut the fuck up.
Can I cut my dick and mail it to you? I mean, if you really want to. Yeah, actually, the thing that I hated the most about the books is how, like, for the first three stories, like, it's pretty obvious, like, Ron is the sidekick and Harry and Hermione are, like, together and they're gonna probably love each other and her producer. Yes, but then, like, in the fourth book, like, out yeah. of nowhere, Hermione and Ron just, like, fall in love. Yeah. Then, that well, how was that obvious? Like, Harry and Hermione? It seemed like Harry and Hermione were super buddy-buddy in, like, the first three books, you know? Maybe. I thought they were pretty buddy-buddy, like, especially in the movies, like, even more so. Like... Yeah, with them okay, being yeah, I, I pretty flirty with each other. But then it seemed like in the fourth book, it was like, here, here comes Ginny, like this character that I think they talked about once or twice, and Harry yeah, is all yeah, of a sudden yeah, completely yeah. in love with they her. They totally like, should have like done the Ginny thing right, and then in the seventh book... Killed her. No, no, no. Oh. Flipped it back. And had <laughs> just to fuck with? Just because it would be not awesome. And then Ron could go with Ginny? Well, no, that would be interesting. <laughs> Maybe he's American. Yeah. Ron can go with like Lavender Brown from the, the like the the whore from the his book or whatever. It seems good. Do you have a cell phone in this that works in this country? No. I have a cell phone that's not working. Egan Koma, so do you have a cell phone that works in this country? Era. Why would he need this? It's in my room. Can I have the phone number for it? Sure. But I don't know it's, it's I don't know these will try out some snack in my head, so you have to get the phone. <laughs> It's on my desk. What do you need this cell phone for? Because I'm having something mailed to me, but I don't... Oh, use the oh, boss's number. Oh, oh, yeah. Use the what? I'll use the boss's number. Oh, sick, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that w another question I had was like, why was the Elder Wand so important? Like, what does the wand do, you know? Also, the, the lore behind the wand was that it couldn't be beaten, right? Like, in a in straight up one-on-one -on -one fight, person with the Elder Wand always wins. Uh -huh. That was the lore. Dumbledore got it by beating Grindelwald in a straight up one on one fight. And like That's because he loved him. Dumbledore Dumbledore's him. like, I knew um what was the quote? I knew um I knew we were roughly evenly matched, or maybe I was slightly more skillful. So if they're slightly more skillful and this guy's got a greatly more powerful wand, what's Dumbledore doing winning? Well, he's fucking Dumbledore, man. Power of homosexuality compels you. <laughs> what what um I don't understand why. Um, wh why did Voldemort have to kill Snape? In order to take possession of the uh, the Elder One, couldn't you disarm your opponent too? Like if you used a disarm spell, wouldn't that also give you possession? Well, that was pretty. They kind of threw that in the book at the last minute because if if Wands traded ownership as easily as they said, then like Wands and overall over Hogwarts for like practicing duels or whatever would be like flipping ownership every. I thought it was. Ju I thought just like the Elder One was super special. No, 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 all Wands because. Harry gets Draco's wand, like, forcibly takes it from him. I guess maybe they're trying to say that the intent has to be, like, I'm taking this wand for good. And okay, well, even so, it. why couldn't he do that to the Elder One? Why do you have to kill Snape? Snape was, like, a badass. Like, even <laughs> for... He probably could have done it another way, but he's Voldemort. But 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 he uh, Snape is badass. Even to Voldemort, Snape was badass. Yeah, but he doesn't really care. Well, he should. What the fuck? I'm gonna totally win this fight now. They should have had, like, a Kenyan, Let like, magician see. who could dodge spells because he could run so fast. That would be sick as shit. He's, like, running around, like, shooting people and shit. Nobody can hit him. I think I win. No!
You was in a live stream? Do I know this guy? No. Do you need advice? I can help you. No! What do you need, buddy? Uh, just, uh, I want to show this tournament. Okay. Uh, if you need any PV advice, let me know. Okay. Okay. My PVZ oh, is really good. Uh, My PVZ. Uh, masters. Diamond Masters. Yes, Very I know. Good. You always steal Mothership. <laughs> What? Disregarding your skills is oh, you just take the mothership. 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 <laughs> mothership. You know, I probably should have had this right now to figure out if I. Do this guy. Uh, you told me to use water moves on water Pokemon. This is fucking huge. <sighs> What's up, guys? Uh, okay. Okay. Why don't you talk to that one training dude? Which training dude is that? Actually, Correct. what Correct. happened to the motivator? Was he here? The who? The motivator, you know, the guy who... Oh, I don't know. Wasn't he supposed to, to come last week? Am I now? Sunstrike, Sunstrike. 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 What did I say to you guys? Oh, I was thinking about eating cereal. But I don't know if I want to eat cereal now. But I should, I really... Where did David go? Mm, he went to bed at like 5... PM. Have you guys seen David at all today? Yeah. No, he, he stood up and then he well, was Well, you here. and David have like almost exactly opposite sleeping schedules. Oh, <laughs> Steven. Aww. He's avoiding you because of the Red Bull. Ha ha ha! Ha ha Damn, this guy laid it down. I 
I just want to eat some cereal. Nicely done. But not the only one. Okay guys, it's cereal time. Change. We're gonna okay. do it. I'm going right now. Because we make? Yeah, we make a... Find me something entertaining to watch before I get back. <laughs> Preferably a stream. We'll be right back, I'm getting some cereal, one sec. So after we make it, you play. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I could have done that one, but I'm not playing. Not playing? Take what I'm gonna say. I will get you into a quiet tournament, okay? Ooh, how much is that? I will talk to a German organizer yeah. and that will be an invite tournament, 8 player. Mm -hmm. And so I try to get you. Joe, what do you want to call on you? No. Not to yourself? Yeah. Easy money. I don't know. You want or no? <laughs> yeah, if you can. I don't care. Okay. It's more good for me. Easy money, maybe. But I don't know. Easy, easy or that easy. Maybe now more many posting we have to so like you. Mm. Right. You post it. Because me top ten grandmaster, so it means you top ten grandmaster? Yeah, so this means What do you think? Because I top ten. <laughs> so you can? Yeah, so no goes in not have it to Because Why you now posting? You be tomorrow. I'm not posting. Why? Oh bro, okay. Bro. I just other players trouble. Because I don't know. I say just immortal actor. Yes, that very good. And beat everyone. That's very important. I beat everyone. Yes. More uh, uh, one 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 B, uh, one one very important. Yes. yes, it was very good. Yeah. That is Wing Joe Liberty to one one. I've had any, mm. but the really is so hard. I didn't know. Since when do you know? Long time? I don't know. But I had a new time. What? Very good oh! mechanic. Mm. That uh, long time ago I know. But uh, one one is just oh, like I okay. What's up dudes? Yeah. Yeah. But so, like, no turn flame, make. maybe hack, but yeah, yeah, yeah. other than that, no make. No make yeah. I mean, I lost hack proper. and Marine King and Bjorn. Yeah. Yeah. So only save it. But Bjorn nice. always 1-1-1 one, 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 or 2 base push. Like yeah. Super Mario. Yeah. Super <laughs> fucking, fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're watching this. Gra pociąga, ale wciąga. Hazard, nie igraj. Hey Jack, guess why today's a special day? I'm not going to do that. Well that's right, because today we're doing a video about birds! How dare you say that to me? You know my mother was a bird. Well, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Are you trying to get birds a worse name than they already have? Has Pigeon Poopenheimer not done enough? How dare you say that to me? You know my mother was Pigeon Poopenheimer. This movie right here, Birdemic, Shock and Terror. 
There is nothing that can prepare you for this. Now for better or for worse, this is gonna change your life and I'm gonna be the one to show you the light. So let's cut to the chase and I'll take a gander. Get it? It's like a goose! That birdemic shark and tear, there's nothing in here. There's no, I've cheated you. I've cheated all of you and you didn't even notice. So, as you can see, our film of the hour begins with a wonderful Sunday drive through the hillside. You know, I gotta say, it's really progressive of the people who made this movie to hire a cameraman with only one arm. I know this overture stuff is sorta of here to set the mood, so hey, if the mood they were going for was sleepy, hold on to your hats, because you're gonna slump over and it's gonna fall off. Seriously, this goes on for the first three and a half minutes of the movie. Ah, uh, finally. Let's get a good shot of that parking job. Excellent. Hey, if this guy acts as good as he parks, I think we're in for a hell of a ride. Hey, what you looking for? The director? Yeah, I know. I don't see him either. And introducing the world's first synthetic actor. I'll be back. What was that? Have I finally gone deaf from sitting too close to the TV? I love how unsure she is about saying hello. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anyone was uh, too sure about anything during the filming of this. There is a menu. Thank you. I'll be right back with you. Oh God, please! There's absolutely no need for that. I haven't seen any birds yet but I'm already feeling the shock and terror. So Jack Skellington over here decides to literally run after this girl he sees in the restaurant to ask her a few questions. I think I know you from someone. Really? Yeah, did you go to San Mateo High School? Oh my God, this is riveting. So are you from here? What is this guy, Commander Shepard? What can you tell me about the Reapers? Thanks. Uh, What's with these random audio cutouts? I, I mean, there's not knowing how to make a film, and then there's being so bad that I, I, don't, I don't even... Why is the audio cutting out? Whoops, looks like they accidentally got a good shot. In other news today, the population of polar bears is declining hey. rapidly hey, due to the meshing hey, of sea Just move the camera down a bit. Just move it down. The, 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 the camera's a bit high up! Let me tell you, if you were afraid you were going to miss even one bit of this guy's day, you can put those qualms to rest. You get to see literally everything he does. I'll say it. I'll say it just in case uh, someone out there doesn't know. You're not supposed to show your characters in traffic and then getting gas and then in traffic and then getting a fucking banana and driving and parking. What is this? Can I place your order today? Great, thanks. We appreciate your business. Hey, what's with it all the noise? I'm sorry, what was it? What's with it all the noise? I didn't know what you're talking about. Caught the big fish. Yeah? How big was the sale? One million dollars. Awesome, man! Biggest sale of my career. Oh, I'm proud of you. Oh my god. How far are we into this movie? Eleven minutes? Yeah. This is gonna be a long day. So literally, everything ever is going well for all the main characters at this point. Literally everyone's like, guess what? You won the prize! Oh my god! You are welcome. You you worked very hard, so here's your chance to impress them. Congratulations again. It's so absurd, I can barely comment. Here's a basketball scene. There's no birds. Here's a car scene. There's no birds. Here's a bird. There's no birds. How dare you? So then I guess, as is, the logical progression, there's a scene where a guy comes to his house, and, and I'm telling all here, says he's from a solar panel company, and then installs a solar panel on his house. Literally. That's the scene! Think there's anything more? Think this is a setup to something good? No! Just... Look, I'm fucking serious. Hi, my name is Jerry Owens. I'm from Solar Power Accessories. Where are you gonna put it? No, I'll show you. And that, sir, is where we're going to install your solar panel. Let me lay this down for you. Hitchcock, Kubrick, Coppola, Nguyen. Okay, let's, can we just get to the romantic subplot already? Please? It's for you. Hey, so sweet. I work at a startup company called NCT Software. Got the stock option. Hopefully, if the company makes it big by being- Never mind, I take it back! Oh, oh jeez, birds, it's happening. There's birds. I've never been happier to see a bird. Well. I'm right here. You didn't have to do that, but you did it anyways. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Romance, romance, no man's, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so next up, the girl goes home to her mom, which, can I say this? This is true loveliness. The woman playing the mother is just so sincere. It hurts. Have a look. What's that smile all about? <laughs> well, I can understand that, you know. <laughs> Well, keep me in, you know, keep me informed along the way. It's the little things that keep you going. So now, randomly, we find ourselves in a boardroom meeting. Okay, what does this guy have to say? Ladies and gentlemen, I have some great news. Our board of directors has agreed to the acquisition of NCT Software by Oracle Corporation for a billion dollars! A billion dollars! Billion. This is the most amazing scene in the entire movie. The sheer amount of non-understanding of said medium is astounding! You guys, you guys have worked hard and you've all earned your stock option. Congratulations! Chicks love cars. If you want to get into their pants, you better have a nice, hot Ferrari. She's my hot Ferrari. Besides, I love my Mustang, which is a plug-in hybrid. It gets 100 MPG. The new Ford Mustang. It is a plug-in hybrid. Apply now for 0% APR financing. Man, that was a good movie, An Inconvenient Truth. I've seen wooden actors. I've also seen wood and nothing. Nothing comes close to Femshep over here. I mean, the other actors in this movie aren't anything special, but they don't even come close to this guy's genuine level of awful. This guy reads his lines like he's trying to do a tribute to Bishop from Aliens. Yeah, I earned it. All those big deals I did with NCT. Well, that explains it, and the U2s always were a bit twitchy. How did... How, how did no one just be like, hey, hey, hold on for a second, does anyone else notice that this guy's the worst thing ever? Did anyone... Is it just me? Because if it's just me, I'll go walk off that cliff over there. In fact, I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, hi! Rod. Nat tells me that you are a very successful salesman. This mom character, th th this mom character, I, I can't even put into words the feelings she makes me feel. It's like the director forgot if he was filming a movie or a documentary about the sweetest woman alive. So are you enjoying your retirement? Oh, I love the retirement. I was a jeweler for 30 years, and sometimes I miss not going into the jewelry store, but you know, I really like retirement. I like to travel, I like to cruise, um, and I enjoy watching television. And Is this acting? Can, can this be classified as acting? Did they just film her on her lunch break? No movie's complete without a four minute Wayne Brady dance scene. Just hanging out, hanging out, hanging out with the family, having ourselves a party. Look at those moves! It looks like the Tin Man has found true love at last. Now he just needs a brain. Oh! Oh! Stop! Stop! No, I'm serious! Stop! This is infringing on my rights! You stop that foot shit right now! Okay, we are 40 minutes into this movie and I don't see any goddamn birds! <laughs> well, that's about enough light for me for one day. Let me check the time. Yeah, it's about that time. Are these birds dive bombing? Like 1940s kamikaze pilots? With, with, with plane sounds? This scene just shows up 40 minutes into the movie. D d d d what? Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Rock Bottom. And here they come. Well, I hope they're proud of themselves. They've done it. They broke me. I have no words for this. The best part of this scene isn't even what we're seeing here. The best part is just imagining what was going through these actors' heads while they were literally just standing there swatting at the air with wire hangers. So then they fire some M4s at the air at some birds for a while. That happens for a while. Hey, look. There's an old guy on the bridge. Hey, hey, stand back! 
These birds are contagious. Now go away. What is your favorite color? Man, this guy is really standing his ground as troll of the bridge. I don't think they're going to be able to get across. Uh, can we just talk about it at, at the picnic area? You want to talk? Okay, all right. Oh, well, 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 that was easy. So tell us, Mr. Expository Scientist, what horror is causing this outbreak? Did they break out from some evil lab? Are they genetic mutations? Are these birds? Yes. No way, they're dead from the uh, bird flu virus. But what I do know is global warming is causing viral diseases such as bird flu, West Nile virus, and SARS. But there is scientific evidence to show that because of our burning of fossil fuels and creating greenhouse gases, which is causing global warming, it's raising the temperature of the seas and, and species like the krill are dying. Okay, hold on now. Am I watching a horror movie or an episode of Nova Science now? What is this shit? Watching this movie try to explain itself is like watching Miss South Carolina. I personally believe that global warming is causing viral diseases and uh, the Iraq everywhere like such as because of our burning of fossil fuels and creating greenhouse gases. <laughs> bird acid, global warming, and the fossil fuels is causing bird acid. I don't know about you, but this is flawless. Alright, the Eagles killed our friends. Uh, do you have a phone I can use to call the police? No, I'm sorry, you know, all phones from the Eagle attack, all phones are dead up here. Wow, are we in a real store right now? Would you do me a favor and just look how real this guy is and em embrace it for me? Well, we need some gas. Well, you know, from the Eagle attack, we are short on gas, but it's $100 a gallon if you want. That guy right there is probably the guy who actually runs the store. They probably just walked in and were like, Dad, you want to be in this movie? And he's like, I probably I can't be in this movie. This movie is a masterpiece! It blurs the line between reality and fantasy and just sort of stuck in its limbo. It's beautiful. Beautiful limbo. So now, after being stuck in a while in this post-apocalyptic bird future, they buy some gas and drive off on their way. And then we have a run-in with a guy I like to call Cool Hand McStoneface. Howdy. Hi. Can you sell me some gas for my truck? Think you can move a few of those muscles? Sorry, but we need it. You can sell me some gas now. Whoa, 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 take it easy, take it easy. Whoa, man, those are some serious demands. I'm gonna pay you extra for that gas, whether you like it or not. And then he gets his neck sliced by a falcon. Yeah, I, I love it. Do you not? C can you not? Uh, guys, you you can't you, you you can grab that gas. You can't. You're leaving. You're leaving it. You're le You're leaving it. So next, they make their way to the forest to try and escape this uh, birdemic, as it were. And then, of course, what else? They meet a friendly forest creepman who informs them about I uh, uh, beetles eating the trees. Even worse, the spruce bark beetles are eating these trees to death and turning them from green to red. I remember when those beetles used to die out during the winter. <laughs> My god. Every character in this movie speaks in run-on sentences. I'm sorry, I wasn't aware this movie was written by Charlotte Bronte. Guys, 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 guys. Josh trying to use our joke. That's some dirty shit. I know, man, that's our joke. No, man, the book, man. It's dirty as fuck, man. Keep reading. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. King Misfit whipped out his hellacious cock. You know, I have the weirdest boner right now. I just don't get it. Why did the director feel such a strong conviction towards setting an environmentalist message? It's not even subtle. So, you're a tree hugger? Shit, for a guy who's such an environmentalist, he sure did drive a lot of cars around in his movie. For a long time. I hear a mountain lion. I gotta get back to my house. You better get to your car. Okay, good. Sure, I'll buy it. Move on. Damn it! I ran out of gas. Oh, I don't know what could have helped you out there. So a whole lot of absolutely nothing happens. Then they fight some more birds, and then j just like that, the birds retreat. D uh, are we done? Is it over? Hmm, that looks familiar. Yeah. It was probably a good idea to leave this shot hanging for so long. Is the cameraman dead? Is he dead? Am I dead? Let me check my pulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This movie killed me. I mean, I'm not 
gonna lie, I still find more enjoyment in movies like The Room and Troll 2. But I think this movie holds its own among the Terabad Titans that we've grown to love. Through all the putrid editing, horrible special effects, non-existent sound editing, cinematography of a toddler, droning music, cardboard characters, preachy as fuck environmental message, and everything else wrong with it, there's just something charming and lovable about it. If you can say one thing for this film, I guess you could go ahead and say it's about birds. But on the other hand, if you wanted to say something that made you sound like a critic that wanted to feel important about himself, I guess you could call it earnest. So there you have it. The best worst movie ever. Oh my god! What was that? Get that! Thanks for watching! Now what I need you to do is click that big red annotation on the right and go watch some more continue. And if you click on the left, you can watch some more of my videos. But they're not as good! Hi everyone, it's Eddie Wandani here. Um, I'm going to be doing my next video. It's going to be my top 10 worst N64 games that I have played. Um, now remember, these are my opinion. These are the ones that I've actually played that are my top 10. So, worst. So let's get started. Number 10 will be WCW Nitro. My opinion, I don't like wrestling games, so I really don't like this one. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, mean, I don't I just know. just can't get into it. I, don't I know. saw this earlier, and I have no idea. What... No? I don't know. Then the next one is Zelda Ocarina of Time. I don't really like Zelda games, so I can't really get into this one either. I mean, I don't... I've played Zeldas. Um, I don't know, I just don't like it. Or there's just like one guy in your group, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I just can't explain it. I don't really like it. <laughs> the next one is the next Zelda. Zelda Majora's Mask. Another one I really don't like. Um, and then Dark Rift. It's a fighting game. Um, it's one of the earlier N64 games. It's not very... It's not very fun. I believe it's four player, if I remember right, but it's not very fun. Next one is um, Lego Racers, another one I really don't care for. Um, the next one is Mission Impossible. It's okay, but it's not like 007 um, GoldenEye. Uh, the next one is 007, The World Is Not Enough. I believe this is the second one to, like, GoldenEye. Um, this one's okay, but it's not as good as GoldenEye. I mean, we've played this quite a bit, but not as much as GoldenEye by far. By far the best. The next one's Diddy Kong Racing. Um, this is number three on my list. It's okay. I mean, it's kind of like Mario Kart, but it's not as fun as Mario Kart, it's it's okay. Number two for the N64 would have to be Killer Instinct. I love this game. I loved it like on the arcade. This is really good on the arcade. The N64 is not as good, but it's okay. Um, and then the number one is Super Smash Bros. Um, kind of confusing when you have like four players playing at the same time. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's okay. I actually like the one that they have on, um, what is it? The GameCube. The one on the GameCube is pretty fun. Um, this one here is okay, but it's not as fun as GameCube. So, that's that. That's my top ten worst N64 games. I actually kind of did it backwards. This is my number one, not number one worst. My number one worst, I started out wrong. It was the wrestling game. Sorry, I kind of went backwards. <laughs> but anyway, that's my top ten worst um, in 64 games. So. 
rank me, subscribe, leave some comments. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, this is 81 Donnie.